Hi everyone, thank you for joining me to a new video by Original Video Reviews. As you can see today we have quite a big package. Okay, so I'm going to open this thing, unbox it, unpackage it and we're going to find out together what's inside. As you can see right now, it's doing quite a lot of noise inside. So let's find out what's inside together. I'm unboxing this thing. I became a certified ninja from all the cuts that I'm doing to the packages. Okay, so this thing is empty. As, as you can see, it's a stainless steel potato slicer. It's a spiral slicer for potatoes. This is something that I've been waiting for, uh, for a long time to buy this thing. Uh, the box, it makes lots of noise as I told you before. And as you can see, like it's not the most amazing package, but I hope that everything inside uh, is okay since it's supposed to be made out of metal, okay? It's not sitting properly. Anyway, let's open this thing. So after I fought with the box for several minutes, I managed taking this device out of the box. Now let's talk about this device. It's very light, okay? This is the kind of metal that it's made out of, the type. Reminds me of the Thin Man from The Wizard of Oz. The color is silver color. If you're going to touch it a lot, so it will leave uh, finger marks on it. Okay, the build quality is not the most amazing. You can see here and in other places, like here, the how they did the job. It's not uh, like uh, the most dignified way to bring it to a customer. Uh, how it works, you have to assemble several parts. They came in this small bag, which got uh, ruined, uh, I guess, during the shipment and everything was lost inside the box, which is a bit uh, disappointing. Uh, I guess these two extra sharp uh, parts for if this uh, part gets ruined or if you have to uh, uh, sharpen them, I guess. Okay, so I hope that I don't have to switch it all the time. Uh, and if so, I think that this is something that you can uh, sharp and also uh, find a replacement, okay? Uh, what else? You have to uh, screw this uh, grip, okay? And I guess this is uh, okay and the device will be ready for use. Uh, you have this grip, okay? When you use it, so it brings it closer to the slicer. And if you bring it back, so it will take it away from the slicer. Okay, this is it. it. We have this switch, still not sure exactly what it does. Uh, but again, it's not to be, to, supposed to be so complicated. You have to remove those stickers. Okay, and the sliced part's supposed to come out of this uh, side. Okay, so I think I explained everything. You have uh, four legs for this device. Okay, so it's supposed to sit on flat surface. Uh, right now I'm going to demonstrate you how it uh, works on uh, an average potato. Two important things before I'm going to make a demonstration how to use this uh, device. First I assembled this handle, this grip here and you don't have to use any tools. You just place it here, use this thing here and you just switch it. Okay, so it's very easy. You don't have to use any tool for that. And another thing I managed to realize what this switch does. So if you're pressing it up, okay, it helps you to adjust the size of the vegetable that you're going to place here, okay, so it will save you time instead of rolling this thing like a moron, okay, you bring it up, you adjust the size of the vegetable or fruit, okay, so let's go to demonstration now. So this is the device it's made to use right now after I cleaned it from all the stickers and everything and you have to remove all the screws in order for this thing to, to clean this. I recommend you to clean this sharp, sharp thing, okay? And also it's made to... So you have to use this. You have to use, let's say, a potato which I already cleaned it, okay? Now this is the trick to use this thing properly. You have to use this, you put barbecue in order for you to use it properly. What you're going to do, you can see this hole, okay? You see the hole. You need to place it while you're slicing, okay? And it goes to this hole in the middle, okay? It's supposed to sit here because this is going to allow 
this potato to sit properly when it's sliced otherwise it will be cut we are going to take this potato okay sticking it properly okay you stick it properly okay you take this wood okay plug it here you switch the jumper and you press it here okay so it sits close to the knife but you still have make sure that you're plugging this thing inside so you have to make sure that this thing sits inside here okay otherwise you will have problems and then you plug this thing so it's supposed to sit like this this is how it's supposed to sit inside the device if it does that you will have perfect potato okay so this is the trick right now you're going to see me demonstrate it how i do that start rolling this thing it's not difficult at all cut it Okay, there's a small slice which won't go, okay? It's not such a big problem. Take this thing out. So, this is the perfect potato. Now you're starting to spread it all over the shipboard. After I was fighting with this thing a little bit, you can see that it's ready. Okay, it looks nice. It's not so easy to spread it. Maybe there is a different technique. What I'm going to do now is put this thing over a plate, okay? I'm going to put it. What I'm going to do also, I'm going to spray this thing with olive oil, okay? So I sprayed it with olive oil. And I'm going to look how it looks like when I'm putting it inside the oven. So let's wait and see. looks like not sure if it's ready looks nice let's taste it now Some of it is ready, some not. It's much better than the first one. This one is excellent. Well, let's summarize the experience from this video. My kitchen skills, I know they are not so amazing. Please don't be too harsh on me. It was the first time that I tried to use the slicer. You can bake the potato, you can fry it. Uh, you can use other vegetables, I guess, and everything is okay as long as the slicer it does the job. And it does the job. It did everything properly. It was very easy for me to use it. The only two things that I didn't like are the packaging. It's something that is individual to the specific seller. And also the build quality, which is not so amazing. And you saw that in the video. But other than that, it's very good, very easy to use. I think that uh, if adults and children want to use it together for an experience together in the kitchen, it's very nice. Uh, and I recommend you to get one. Uh, I hope that you liked the video. If you have any further questions, something that I demonstrated is not so explicit, or if there are things that I didn't answer, I invite you to write them as a comment to the video and I will try to do my best to answer you. Also, you can send me uh, recipes, how to use the, the potato slicer in the future, okay? So thank you for watching this video and I invite you to like the video, comment about the video and subscribe to the channel Original Video Reviews. Thank you again for watching the video. Bye-bye.